Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone a great day so far and happy belated Christmas. This is actually being recorded on Christmas night, but by the time you guys see this, it'll be the 26th of December. Hope you guys had a good one. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to unlock and play the Faux Hollows. Now, the Faux Hollows came out in 5.3. Unfortunately, I didn't play it because I didn't really defeat Shiva Unreal. But now in 5.4, we have a new primal, and that is Titan Unreal. Every major patch, there will be a different primal from a Roamer Born. As of right now, we have a Roamer Born. We might go to Heaven's Ward later down the road. Anyway, in order to unlock the Faux Hollows, you actually have to unlock Chloe Leopold, who is standing right next to me. Alright, so in my journal here, in the Idleshire, Zone, at level 60, you have to do Keeping Up with the Aleopoles. This will unlock Chloe, or Wondrous Tales. At level 80, you then can unlock Fantastic Mr. Foe. The painfully ish guardian man and PC will be over here. Let's talk to him, and then you'll be able to talk to the full commander, who just happens to be an auspice. Alright, so, in order to do this, this is once per week, unless you get a second chance or a retelling through the Faux Hollows, you only can do this at least once a week. Alright, simply go into the Duty Finder under High End Duty and just do the Unreal Trial. Alright, you have a average item level of 430 and you will be item level synced to 435. This is upscaled to level 80, so the damage and everything will be upscaled to level 80. You'll have all the gear set and all of the Abilities at level 80 at your disposal. All right, the mechanics are the same as extreme So if you know the extreme you can do unreal and be quite honest Titan was a hell of a lot easier than Shiva DPS check wasn't as bad. You can actually die in Titan and still have enough DPS to beat the fight Unlike Shiva you die you basically have have a, almost like a 1% chance of still be able to defeat her all right, so after you're done defeating the Unreal Trial, come over and talk to the full commander. All right, you have either play, exchange your leaves, which is the currency for him, or you can ask about the Faux Hollows itself. So first off, let's see what we can get for the rewards. For 250 leaves, you get this headband. This was from the special Fate and Stormblood. You have the Kate Sith Neck Ribbon. And you have the unicorn from the first four hollows. You have the construct uh, six S core, which is basically the enemy you fight in the Pharaoh Sir uh, Sirius dungeon. It's basically like a red tinted one. You have the Ixian one, in case you want to do the uh, the fate. You have the sand fox minion, the lesser panda minion, the Corpaker kid, the cashmere attire, these stupid prisms, or you can get these for materia. All right. Ultimately, you want the mounts. You can buy these off the market board, but of course, they're probably going to be a couple million. All right. So let's go ahead and play Faux Hollows. All right. This is the saying: if you're playing Faux Hollows and you leave it, you basically forfeit it. All right. So you can have up to I think a thousand leaves. All right. So I have forty out of a thousand right now. All right, so here's the board. On the right, you have the commander. He has one square with his face on it. He'll give you 100. The treasure chest and the item box or the gift box on the right side here. You have to uncover all four to get 35 and 25 respectively. And at the bottom, you have a large, which is a six box item and you only will get 15 leaves out of it. And that is your retelling, which you're able to do the fight again to get another chance at doing full hollows. I believe you can do it two retellings per week, I believe I was told. All right. So ultimately you will want to get the retelling first. So you can basically say, this have a good chance of being the retelling, this has a good chance, or this could have a good chance here. These over here will most likely never have them. And up above here you have the turns. 
That's how many you have to uncover as much as much as you can. So right now, I'm going to most likely choose these boxes here to look for the retelling. All right, so it's not going to be anywhere here. Or it could be over here. Uh, I'm going to go. Um, let's go here. All right, so here's the item box. All right, so I have nine chances, so that's eight, seven, six. So I still have a good chance of a retelling. All right, so I got 35 leaves out of that. So now I need to find the retelling, hopefully. So it's most likely going to be in these squares here. And there it is. All right. So now I got 15 more leaves, and that's the end. And of course, there's Mr. Fo right there. Last time I had I don't, the gift box, and he was right below it too. All right. So that's basically how you do the Fo Hollows and how you basically unlock it. All right, guys. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers content. And as a reminder, make sure you hit the notification bell next to my subscribe button. It's where you guys can miss an upload and find me on my social media at Zane Lineart on Twitter and Facebook. So until next time, guys, remember to walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys, and good luck on your fight.